Hi everyone, this is Vivian. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do another envelope art project. This one is for December. And I'm going to use these nice blue and uh, aqua teal-ish blue color envelope. And I got inspired by the last video I did, which was um, some watercolor wash. Actually, these were done with brush markers. So I created this gradient kind of sky landscape uh, mini art project with brush marker and I really like how they turned out so I think I'm going to implement some of these um, vibe into the envelope that I'm doing today. So I'm going to maybe put a landscape or uh, some mountain scene uh, at the bottom of the envelope. So I do these envelope projects every month as long as there are people signing up. If you're interested in signing up for my envelope project to receive an envelope, you can uh, find the link in the description box. And of course, your name and address will be shown on the envelope. So make sure you're okay with that before you sign up. For this one, I'm going to just paint some light color mountain and then have the name in the middle. I use uh, Crayola, mm, this marker that I have. I haven't used Crayola marker for a while. I used to use these a lot to do brush lettering. I also have a course for that. So uh, you can also find a link in the description. But let's get the background first. I'm going to use this Ecoline watercolor. So this is blue 506. I think I can just create uh, layers of mountain on this. So I'm actually going to water down a little bit for the first layer. So now the first layer is dry, I'm going to uh, keep on laying more color on it and I'll probably make it darker as I go. So now that the second layer is dry, I'm going to paint straight from the bottom. Okay, so there goes my uh, mountain layers. I might or might not, I don't know. I'm going to write the name first and then we'll see if we need to embellish it more. So I'm going to just draw some lines there so I can sort of write on a straight line. So with, uh, with the Crayola marker, it's going to be quite big writing. So that's why I need the pencil line first to make sure that I I'm not going to run out of space, hopefully. So the first one is going to Kelly Russell. Kelly is in Minnesota, I believe that. So I like that uh, this marker is kind of dried out. So I actually like this effect. Oh, this is really bumpy. Maybe I should do this. Kelly Russell. It's a very interesting town, uh, city name. Oh. Erase this pencil line a little bit. Uh, I use this uh, Dr. P.H. Martin's Blue Proof White. It's a very opaque white paint. So I'm going to use this tiny brush. And me being lazy today, I'm just going to paint straight out of the thing. Maybe make sure that it's thick enough.
So there we have it, the first envelope. And for the second envelope, I think I'm going to do similar, but this time I'm going to draw some trees instead of just mountains. So it'll be like a closer view of the mountain. But I still want to make sure I get like, um, yeah, this is probably how I want it. So I have here some black ink. Actually, what are these? Sumi ink, I think. And I'm just going to draw some random tree. And by random, I mean really random. So this is tree. I like the Sumi ink because it's very, very black, very dark. So now I have some sort of background. Um, again, I'm going to do the same thing, write a name first, and then uh, decide what to do after that. So again, I'm going to draw some guidelines. And also I did pencil in the address a little bit so I can have a better idea of what the spacing. And I'm still using this uh, almost dried up Crayola broad marker. So now we have the address. So instead of uh, drawing stars, I think I'm going to uh, splash on some snows. So last but not least, I need to protect these uh, writings a little bit. I'm, I don't think they're waterproof and who knows uh, what weather they are going to endure on the way. So I have these distress glaze. They are kind of like a waterproof coating that you can put on stuff. You can actually just use your finger to uh, rub on the surface. It creates like a waxy cover or a waxy coating. But I like to use this, um, what you call this thing? Uh, application thing. So I'm just going to apply this on in a circular motion uh, wherever um, the paint is. So you need to do this uh, when everything is completely dry. Otherwise, you would just be smudging the whole thing. And make sure you don't rub it on the stamp because the stamp needs to be, you know, stamp on and have, have a cancel stamp on it. Uh, I think these would prevent them doing that. So make sure you avoid the stamping area. And uh, that's about it. This is, this is my December envelope. So if you're interested in receiving one of these, the next month, make sure you uh, sign up on the Google form. The link is in the description. And also, if you want to learn about Crayola calligraphy, 
like I did here, you uh, can sign up my course. The link is also in the description. I hope you enjoy this video and you will give this um, design a try and send out some happy mail, uh, especially in this holiday season. So I wish you all uh, have a happy holiday, Merry Christmas. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.